good YouTube, it's your boy JP Productions and I'm back with another interactive challenge for y'all. Let's see if you can read the game like Trey. So if you're not sure how this goes, let me explain. I'll first show you a few seconds of a clip, then I'll pause it at a crucial moment where the ball handler will have to make a decision. Once I pause it, I will give you a few options on what can be right and why. Once again, when it comes to the options, there really is no wrong answer. But the whole goal is to see if you can read the game, like Trey. Be sure to spam that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Now let's get straight to it. Starting off with clip number one, Trey does a good job of coming off that screen perfectly by staying low. At this moment right here, what should he do? Should he A. Throw a cross court pass near the left wing? B. Toss a lob over to the cutting John Collins? Or C. Come off the screen? perform a hezzy and drive downhill. You have five seconds to claim your answer. All the answers that I stated were good options, but the correct answer for this clip is B. Due to Trey operating on the right side of the court where most of his team and defenders are at, it leaves DeRozan on the left block. Two choices, A, Defend a shooter near the corner, or B, defend a cutting big man. Although DeRozan did a pretty good job on standing his ground, but it wasn't enough. Trey was still able to toss that lob up high and at a perfect spot for only Collins himself can only reach up and slam it down. Moving on up to clip number two. What should Trey do at this moment? In the game of hoops, you can never trust a hooper's eyes. Notice where Trey is looking. Should he A. Throw a bullet pass to his man near the top of the key? B. Throw it up for Collins to catch it under the rim? Or C. Shoot the three? Clock's ticking. The correct answer is B. Knowing Trey, we all know how deep he loves to shoot the rock but at times you have to be unselfish. Notice the position that Collins have down low in the paint. Although it's a bit of a tight space down there, he still has enough room above and behind him to catch the ball and make a play to either finish or kick the ball out. Number three, got a nice recovery by Young. And stop. Based on this frozen moment right here, what should Tricky Trey do? Should he A, toss it over to his big man that's cutting towards the rim, B, hit his man on the left corner, or C, throw a no look to Jeff Teague at that right corner? Yes sir, the right answer is A. Once again, nothing beats having a big man that can jump up for the ball and make a play. As you can see, the spacing was perfect for Young to throw a lob up to his big man. If anything, I'm disappointed in Teague on that right corner. Shout out to Kevin Herter for setting that screen, but watch how Teague doesn't even bother to come off of it. By Teague actually making it look like he wants to play, it could have been a potential three instead of a two-pointer. Either way, a bucket is a bucket, and I agree 100% with Trey on this possession. Let's peep your IQ. Based on this moment for clip number four, you could tell that the right side of the court is pretty much free. But based on how Trey's defender is playing him, should Trey A. Use the screen and make a play downhill? Or B. Reject the screen and make a play? Be sure to really look closely at Trey's defender. I'll show you the clip one more time. The correct answer is B, rejecting the screen. As Trey had the ball in his dribble pocket, it gives Trey some time to read his on-ball defender. Before he even pulled out the crossover, you could tell that his defender was jumpy. And notice how his defender hopped to the spot to beat Trey. As a defender, this is something you never want to do. Why? Use this clip for an example. Try doing that on an elite defender and nine times out of 10, you will get crossed and scored on. And for the final clip, let's do a little throwback to Trey in college. As you can see, we have Trey as a defender. 
Trey's man Carter is about to run back door towards the rim. Where should Trey run? A. Right behind Carter. Or B. Or B. Run around the big man and go wide to meet his cutter at a spot. Tick tock my guy. Make or miss, I don't care, but the correct answer is A. Even though Carter isn't known as a knockdown shooter, you never want to run wide because if you do that, you are at his mercy. If Carter was a good shooter, he could easily have faked the backdoor cut, then run straight back to that corner for a knockdown triple. Running wide takes too much time, and in the big boys league, time is very, very limited. If anything, Trey should have asked for a switch, so Trey's teammate could pick up the cutter, while Trey will have to pick up his teammate's big man. Either way, we live and we learn. Stop playing around, hit that like button, and comment down below how many you got right. And also, once again, shout out to Coach Daniel for the video idea of his series called Can You Read The Game Like. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Damn, take